Okay, this is side A, and let's get to it. So, ratio of apples to pairs sold at the deli is 4 to 7. There are 42 a pair sold. How many apples were sold as well? So, you have a choice of whatever method you want. Tape, double number line, part part total. Feel free, whatever works for you. So, um, I'm just going to stick to, let's see, this one part part total because that's nice. You can go apples, pairs. And well, let's just write total, I guess. So, there are four apples, seven pairs for a total of 11. Um, so, what we're asked here, if there's 42 pairs, so let me write 42 right under here. How many apples were sold? So, it increased from 7 to 42 by a factor of 6. So, everything's going to be increased by a factor of 6. So, 4 times 26, uh, 4 times 6 is 24. Times 6 again here gives you 66. And if you actually add the number of apples to pairs, 24, 42, it does give you 66, so you know it's correct. So when there are 42 pairs sold, you will have a total number of 24 apples sold. Okay. You could do a tape diagram for this. And now just do one just because I can, I guess. Apples and pairs. So for apples, you would do four. One, two, three, four. For pairs, you would do seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I know that pair 42 pairs, so I would write 42 under here. Right? These boxes represent the number of pairs on a total of 42, having seven boxes. 42 divided by 7, each number would be 6. So this would be 6 on top. And four boxes with six apples in each will give you a total of 24. Same thing. Okay? Whatever you choose. Tom and Jerry saved money in the ratio of 3 to 5. So the total is 48. How much did Jerry save? Well, I guess we can use part per total here too. So don't let me write Tom, Jerry, and their money saved, the total. So when he saves 3, this guy saves 5 for a total of 8. But when they save a combined total of 48, how much did Tom save and how much did Jerry save? Well, what was the increase here? How did the 8 become a 48? It was a times 6 relationship. So everything else is going to be a times 6 as well. So it would be 5 times 6 30. Times 6 is 18. And you'll notice that 18 plus 30 is 48. So you know your question. Your answer here is correct. So how much did Jerry save? Jerry saved $30. Okay. I'm not going to do a tape diagram, but you can. Okay. Um, Sam has 24 comic books, 10 nonfiction, 40 fiction. Write the ratio of nonfiction to total books. Okay, so nonfiction, we have 10 nonfiction. We're comparing that to what? Total. How many total books in this case? The total is 24 plus 10 is 34. 34 plus 40 is 74. So there's my ratio. In simplest form, let me simplify this. Uh, they're both even numbers, so I know I can divide by 2. That gives me 5. I can divide this by 2. That gives me 37. So, 5 nonfiction, 37 total. That could have been, that is actually my final answer. Okay. Uh, um, uh, 5. Okay, so this is a correction on this one. Okay. Find a urinate per dollar. You could have done, okay, so you know what? I'll do both. As it states, it says unit rate per dollar. So for how much, how many books can I buy for a dollar? All right, so in this case, and I, always, I know I told you money always goes first, but without correcting this question, let's do it as it states. So I would write eight books, and I would write 42. Because I want to find a unit rate okay, per dollar. <coughs> I want to know how much would I get for one book. One buck, not book, a buck. So, how did I 42 become a 1? Divide by 42. And I would divide the top by 42. And it's 8 in your calculator. It would be 8 divided by 42, not 42 divided by 8, so be careful there. So it would be 42 divided by 8. No, sorry, 8 divided by 42. And you get 0 0.19, a long decimal, you get 0 0.19 book. So, for a buck, Okay, 
I would get 0.19 of a book, not even a full book, not even a half of a book, actually not even a quarter of a book. I'd get less than a quarter of a book. Okay, so as it's stated in this question, that's what you should have done. But I actually meant unit rate per book. So the unit rate per book, money on top, $42, like I always told you, eight books in the bottom. So I want to know how much one book costs. So that would be the unit rate per book, which is what I meant to do. So eight books divided by eight here, and divided by eight. And now you do 42 divided by eight, and you're going to get 42 divided by eight, you're going to get 5.25. So each book cost me $5.25. On side B, which is the reverse of this page, please do the same thing. It's find the unit rate per book. Please correct it on the uh, other side of this sheet. Okay. We're going along. Justine can read eight pages in six minutes. Find the number of pages she can read in 15 minutes. Okay. So I would set up always, okay, um, write it as a fraction. Eight pages, label things. Eight pages, six minutes. And we want to know how many pages she will read in 15 minutes. So there's something here we're going to have to do. And I'll write 15 minutes a little bit to the side here. I need to give me room in case I need it. And pages would be on top. So no relationship, as you can tell, between 6 and 15. Nothing times 16, nothing times 6 gives you 15. So you might want to change this fraction here to something else. Reduce it, scale up, scale down, find a way of finding a relationship. So I guess the easiest way, um, you could divide this by 2, because I can divide the top by 2 as well. And you're going to get 6 divided by 2, 3 minutes. And 8 divided by 2, you're going to get 4 pages. These two fractions are equivalent. It means the same thing. But the advantage is that now I have a relationship with 15, which is times 5. And I'm going to multiply the top by times 5. And we get our answer. So in 15 minutes, she can read 20 pages. OK. Um, let me scroll down. So I made a mistake on this table. There's two of them um, right here. It'll be exactly the same answer, this column and this column. So don't go too crazy. So uh, up and down relationship, none. OK, so we're actually going to have to do some work. So we're going to have to do side to side. So let's take 7 over 10 and use 7 over 10 for every other uh, one that we need. So 7 to 21 is a times 3. So here's going to be a times 3. Uh, let's use a 7 tenth, 7 over 10 again, to for 56. So 7 times what's 56 is times 8. So I'm going to use a times 8 here, which gives you 80. And I told you that these two are the same, so you know already that this is 56. And then last year, 10 times what's 120 is times 12. So I'm going to multiply the 7 times 12 to get this number here, which is going to be 84. Yeah. 7. Ratio of boys to girls out of schools 4 to 10. How many boys are there when there's 35 girls? Uh, okay. All right. So let me write this like this. So four boys, 35 girls. Yep. Sorry. That's not what it is. Four boys, 10 girls. That's our relationship. And what happens when there's 35 girls? And as you can tell, there about up and down relationship for 10, nothing. And then from 10 35, also there's nothing. So I need a little help here. Let's do something with this fraction to help me with that one. Um, go up, come down, scale up, scale down. So again, keep it simple. Um, let's see if dividing by 2 or simplifying that. Divide by 2, divide by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 boys. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Five girls. Good. Again, I didn't do anything and change the values. They mean the same thing. They're equivalent. So, but now I have a relationship with 35, which is times 7. And the top will be a times 7 relationship, giving you 14 points. Okay? <coughs> Don't complicate things. Make things, keep things simple. <coughs> Penny can run at a rate of 7 miles every hour. Create a table and graph. So, Simple question. I'm going to create a table. Hour. Time always goes first. Miles. And then our order pair. So I know that one hour, she goes seven miles. So that's my first one, one seven. 
about two, three, oh, not two, three, about four points. So let's go two, three, four, and then two will be 14, 21. Now here I'm going by sevens. There's my points, 214, 321, 428. I think that's enough. Okay, so again, I, th I think here I want you to make sure that you know how to create a table, get the order pairs from that, and then plot these numbers over here. So let's label. Before we start, this will give me my hours. It's going to be my miles over top. Miles. Let's give it a title. So Penny's Run. Let's just call it Penny's Run. Hours going to be at the bottom. So um, you could do one hour, two hours, three hours, three, four hours like that. But I'd rather not. I'm actually rather space it out. It's going to be one, two, three, four. And then over here, uh, we're going to do miles. It's 714. So if you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's no way you're going to, they're not going to be, they're not going to fit. But you can do the same thing. Every two, make it seven. Two, another two, 14, another two, 21, another two, 28. Zeros over here. So let's plot our, plot our points. One, seven, two, 14, three, 21, seven, 428, and we can go on and on and get a ruler, get a ruler, stretch that line all the way out. Make sure for now. So there's three points right there for you. Pretty easy. Okay. Uh, determine the best buys. Eight apples for 280, 12 apples for 350, or 15 apples for 440. So definitely uh, a unit rate problem. So let's just write everything. Money, so 2.8 or 80 for 8 apples. Um, 3.5 for 12 apples. And then last one is $4.40 for 15 apples. Now I'm going to change everything to unit rate. And it's going to be one apple. How much is one apple? Here, two. How much is one apple? And here too, it's going to be one apple. So when I have something in common, I can actually compare to find out uh, what's a better deal, worse deal, whatever it is. So eight apples becoming ones, divide by eight. I'll do, divide the top by eight. So 2.8 divided by eight is 0 0.35. So it's 35 cents per apple, not bad price. 12 divided by 12 gave you one. So I'm going to divide the top by 12. So 3.5 divided by 12 is 0 0.2. So on the calculator, you're going to have a big, long decimal that rounds to this. Remember, two decimal places. <clears throat> and then last one is 15 apples. So I'm going to divide that by 15. I'm going to divide the top by 15. And you're going to get 4.4 divided by 15. And that's going to be 0 0.29. Ooh, we're going to have a tie. Well, I mean to. But it's going to be 0 0.29. It's also going to be. So these two are tied. This one is a tie. It's this one. At 29 cents each. But that would be the work necessary. Okay. <coughs> 10. Linda the cat can type at a rate of 60 words. Let me write that in eight minutes. How many minutes will it take to type 150 words? So, 150 words goes here, and I need the number of minutes. Um, is there a relationship between 60 and 150? No, there isn't. How about up and down? Nothing up and down. So let's try to change that fraction to something. Uh, let's see, divide by 2 seems to be working all throughout the video. So 60 divided by 2 is 30 words. 8 minutes divided by 2 is 4 minutes. Good, I can use that. So now there's a relationship going that way, times 5. And this is going to be a times 5. So how many minutes will it take to type 20, 150 words? 20 minutes. Okay, so I am not going to do, 
like I said, a review for, I'm not going to go over, I'm going to provide you with the answers, but I'm not going to, uh, what do you call, do a video for that, only because this way I guess you can, um, you can check how well you did on side B and pretend that's like, uh, like, a, like a, you know, practice test or something. So out of the 10 questions on the other side, you know, see how you did compared to the questions, okay? So, and let me write what that mass. That's your word because I have this in my class right now. All right, so let me provide you with the answer sheet for the for part B. Okay. Okay, I'm still not done because there are a couple of questions here. So 11, uh, the pet store has cats, dogs, and elephants, the ratio of five, six, seven. There are a total of 90 animals. How many more elephants are there, are there than cats? So this one, we can do it this way. Um, let's pick a pen. So we got cats, dogs, and elephants, the ratio of five, six, seven, for a total of 11, there's 18, right? So part, part, part total this will be. So the total of 90, is the relationship here, here? Please tell me there is. Uh, times five. So everything's gonna be times five, times five, times five, times five. Here you get 25, here you get 30, and here you get 35. Does that equal to 90? 25 plus 30 is 55, and 55 plus 35 is indeed 90. So there, that works. So when there are 90 animals, you're going to have 25 cats, 30 dogs, and 35 elephants, which gives you a total. So how many more elephants than cats? Well, there's 35 elephants and 25 cats, so 10 more elephants. Okay? So I am going to start part B and just scroll along, uh, scroll down for part B, the question answers, and I'm just going to read it, just write the answers down. So hopefully you did this and you took it as a practice. This was 12 eggs. This was $20. Okay, and I'm going to scroll down. Number three. Number three, it's going to be 8 out of 23. Okay, and hopefully you fixed this and instead of dollar, you made it per book. Find the unit rate per book. So 37, it's going to be seven dollars and four forty cents per book okay for number four um five let's see if i did five yeah you're going to get number five you're going to get um 42 pages in 28 minutes pages in 28 minutes that's what you're going to get okay complete the table you're going to get so this one is if you look up and down, you know, it's times 2 from 15 to 30 is times 2. So if you're going down, it's times 2, times 2, 150. And if you're going up, it's going to be divided by 2, 60, and 105. Okay. Number 7. I actually didn't do that one. Okay, so ratio of boys to girls. Actually, do with this with you guys. Ratio of boys to girls at school 6 to 15. So boys, girls. 6, 15, uh, do I need a total? No, I don't need a total. And what happens, there are 40 girls? Ooh, actually, I can't do it this way. I can't do the part part total on this one, so I'm gonna go six boys, 15 girls. And what happens when there's 40 girls? Uh, let's see, can I divide, can I do something? There's no relationship up and down or side to side, so I'm gonna have to create a new fraction over here. Let's divide this by two now, by three. So divide by three, I get two boys. Divide by three here, I get five girls. Same thing, this is the same thing as this, but this allows me to find a relationship here. Times eight, times eight, which is going to be 16 boys. Okay. Number eight. Okay, so create a table. Again, hopefully you did, and I'm just quickly gonna go for it. Um, 
minutes, pages, order pair. So one minute, twelve pages, one and twelve. Two, three, four, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight. Two, three, four. 24, 36, 48. So hours or minutes in this case here. Pages. Uh, Cynthia's reading rate. Whatever title, as long as it makes sense and related. And let's just do one, two, three, four. Again, I'm going to split two boxes. This is one unit. Three, two boxes, another one, another one. Here I'm going to go by 12 and I'm going to use two boxes. Two boxes. Hey! Two boxes. Two boxes. Connect the points. And you are going to straight line, so please don't get used to the fact that goes a straight line goes from this corner to this corner. It doesn't necessarily have to. I'm going to go. Okay. Uh, you can definitely go like, oops, not like that, but that direction, for example. Okay. All right. So let me just go back here. Okay. So, but your straight line is would have been. Ugh. Why can't I draw straight line? Okay. That would have been a little better. Okay. Um. Scrolling down. Nine. So this one I did already, and I can just tell you that we got twelve for twelve pies, and that end up ends up being. A dollar sixty-seven per pie. The other one is seventeen pie. Oops. Okay, here we go. Seventeen dollars for ten pies, and the unit rate would be one pie, and at the bottom would be one point top. Sorry, one point seven for every pie, and then you have another one. Which is nine dollars for five pies, and if you divide top and bottom by five, you end up getting that one dollar and eighty cents per pie. So the best deal here was this one. Okay, the rabbit one. It was three hundred words for forty minutes. Okay, and we have one more. Last one. Pet store has giraffes, birds, and snakes in the ratio 5, 3, and 9. Didn't do this one, so I'm going to actually 5, 3, 1, and I'll write giraffe, birds, and snakes. And total of, let's see, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So when there are 45 animals instead of 9, how many of giraffes, how many birds, and how many snakes there are? Well, the factor here is times 5, so everything's going to be times 5. Times 5 here, giving you 15. Times 5 here, giving you 25. Um, is that 45? Let's see, 25 and 15 is 40, plus 5 is 45. Good. So remember to answer the question, how many more birds are there than snakes? Well, we are birds. Here are birds, 15 birds. How many snakes? 5. So there are, there are 10 more birds. And that concludes our review. Okay? So see how you did on part B. Try not to look at it, and then uh, hopefully you'll be ready for Friday, okay? And we're done.